Welcome to my review of Coffee Table Coven issue number one. Coffee Table Coven is a collaborative project that involves several members of the witchy and magical community. There is an Instagram page that publishes some fantastic photos and informational posts, but what I'm here to talk about today is the once a month witchy magazine, Coffee Table Coven issue number one. Now this web magazine went live for everybody on August 1st and is completely free to the public. So it's available online by going to coffeetablecoven.com. You may be asking yourself, why in the world would I wanna wait a month between publications? And let me tell you, after I looked at this first issue, it will be worth the wait. The beginning of the issue gives you some background on the Coffee Table Coven project. And from the get-go, I really felt inspired and like everybody that had something to do with this was really passionate and absolutely adored the idea. This isn't something that people just pumped out on their smartphones in between Netflixing and chilling. This is something that this community worked extremely hard to put together. There's a variety of articles from several different collaborators. So this isn't just a couple of people looking for another avenue to publish their blog posts. These are some very good quality, well thought out articles. Now I'm not going to go into the specifics of the articles because that's cheating and I want you to actually go to coffeetablecoven.com and look at the web magazine. But I will give you a hint and tell you that my absolute favorite article was about magic and science and how magic and science don't have to be enemies. So that's something to look forward to if you haven't already checked out the web magazine. Another thing that I really loved about the web magazine was the fact that after each article, there was a little bio about the person that wrote it, including some information about their path and their practice and their magical and witchy interests. I thought that this was really special because it made the web magazine really highlight the fact that it appears to be a collaborative project involving a variety of perspectives and a group of people passionate about their path and what they're talking about. There was also space for Etsy shops and magical entrepreneurs to advertise their shops and businesses. I thought this was really fantastic because if somebody's willing to kind of punch out advertising space for themselves, this isn't just somebody that kind of casually throws out some things they put together. If people are willing to carve out advertising space for their shop or for their magical service, you know that this is something that they're really passionate about providing quality services for. There was also a lot of ways where you could get involved with Coffee Table Coven yourself contact information for suggesting articles and ideas or things for the Instagram page. And let me just tell you, the layout of this web magazine is beautiful. Now I had the luxury of looking at the web magazine on an iPad and it just reminds me of those glossy magazines I used to look through when I was a little bit younger. Like when I felt super, super lucky that I got a hold of somebody's old 17 or something that had like legit glossy magazine covers. The layout, the photos, the art, everything about this web magazine is absolutely beautiful. If you haven't checked it out already, I highly recommend it and I'll put important links to Coffee Table Coven and some of the different avenues where you can get in touch with them in the description of this video. Another thing that I want to talk to you about is the Coffee Table Coven um, Patreon page. Patreon page? P-A-T-R-E-O-N page. Now at the Patreon, Patreon page, there are ways that you can contribute to the Coffee Table Coven project. Now, I know, most of us are broke, we may not have our own debit cards, people ask for money all over the place, but I'm going to tell you why. Coffee Table Coven is worth just a little bit of your dollars. So to start with, on the Patreon page, you can donate as little as a dollar a month. Now there are higher level rewards, and every time you 
fund or contribute to Coffee Table Coven at a higher tier of reward, there's additional levels and reward options that open up to you. So for example, some of the backing levels provide you early access to the web magazine, which is worth it because then you get a sneak peek like I did. Um, some of them uh, give you special discount codes to witchy shops. And the highest backing tier actually gives you access to a subscription style box full of witchy goodies every month. Now, I think that when you're able, supporting artistic projects like this is something that we all need to do. Because having things like a custom URL name and spending all of your time doing these projects is, is not something that's free. Now, I know that there's tons of places over the internet where you can give your money away, but this is something that I think is a huge value for the witchy community overall. Because it's a collaborative project, it takes a lot of time and effort, and as soon as you look at those pages, you can tell that every single person involved is passionate about what they're doing. So if you haven't checked out Coffee Table Coven already, please do. Like I said, I'm going to include lots and lots of links in the description of this video. And my deep, deep, deep hope is that you love Coffee Table Coven as much as I do, and maybe even donate a little to the Patreon page.